just added two new drug dogs who joined the force at a very dangerous time. The dogs and officers are at an increased risk for a highly potent drug called fentanyl. We show you how ISP is adapting to protect their canine friends. Six on your side's Roland Barris has more in tonight's big story. For ISP canine units, work is play. The dogs are playing a game of hide and seek. They're looking for their toy and they are expecting that reward. This is just practice for these expert noses, but on the streets, the stakes are high, even if they don't know it. One of the biggest risks is the influx of a new and highly potent opioid called fentanyl. Um, guys are seeing uh, more uh, fentanyl, uh, which we had traditionally not seen in the state. A nose full of fentanyl can cause a serious overdose, so all six ISP canine units now carry the special doggy-sized dose of naloxone, which can reverse an opioid overdose. We've issued all of our troopers uh, naloxone for their protection if there's an exposure to a controlled substance such as heroin or fentanyl. And uh, our dogs are also at risk of an exposure. A recent bust by ISP proves the risk. Analysis confirmed that it was actually a mixture of methamphetamine and fentanyl. And it only takes a very small dose of fentanyl to uh, cause a hazardous uh, exposure. The two new drug dogs help ISP cover District 2 and 4 without having to call in a dog from another area. They say with drug busts on the rise in Idaho, the new dogs and their safety are paramount. Roland Barris, six on your side.